Is there any more iconic battle than Thousand Suns versus Space Wolves? Whether it's apocalyptic battles across the surface of Fenris, or it's a combat patrol type battle in a grim dark corner of the universe. Either way, there's bad blood between these two armies, and we're bringing them to you today in this episode of Combat Patrol. Stephanie's back for another Combat Patrol game. You can follow along with her at Orion's Belt Minis on all the socials. She's a fantastic painter as well as player. Make sure to check her stuff out. She's going to be playing the Space Wolves today in the Combat Patrol versus Mubin's Thousand Suns. I'm here to play some Combat Patrol, and I'm here to play some Thousand Suns. Mubin's Thousand Suns army consists of one Infernal Master, five Scarab Occult Terminators, and 20 Zangors. Mubin's chosen Temporal Sorceries for his enhancement on his Infernal Master, and Sorceress Ritual for his secondary. My opponent today is Stephanie, and she is bringing some Space Wolves. First of all, Space Wolves. Second of all, she's bringing Victor Dice to this game. I'm a little intimidated. I haven't played anyone with Victor Dice yet. My name is Stephanie. I am back. I am the victor of my first match with Play on Tabletop, and I plan to take another victory against Mubin and his Thousand Sons with my Space Wolves, and I am so excited. Stephanie's Space Puppers consist of a Primaris Lieutenant, an Invictor Tactical Warsuit, 10 Primaris Intercessors, and 5 Primaris Reavers. She's taken Mighty Saga for her secondary and Tireless Hunter for her enhancement. I took the Tireless Hunter uh, enhancement today and that gives me plus one to my wound rolls. I'm hoping to stack that with my Oath of Moment and get some seriously sweet buffs on my dice today. Today's mission is Archaeotech Recovery. There are five objectives, two of which in No Man's Land will disappear. The last No Man's Land objective is worth 10 at the end of the game and each objective is worth five victory points to a maximum of 15 per turn. Scoring early is gonna be key to victory. Pre-game, Mubin has put his Scarab Occult Terminators in reserves, and they've been the target of Tireless Hunter, and Stephanie has responded with putting her Reavers in reserves. Seeing as I need to kill enemy models with psychic attacks, this means it's going to be up to the Infernal Master and those Scarab Occult Terminators to pull in all that work, while the Zangors just provide support and control objectives. Stephanie's got her battle leader on her home objective with the Invictor in the back corner. One of the biggest threats in that Space Wolves combat patrol is that Invictor war suit. And Mubin's dropped his sorcerer dead middle. I am going straight after Mubin's leader with my forces. I cannot wait to take it down and watch as he squirms without his Psyker abilities. He's got a long time before she's within 12 to shoot him. If I take him out, I am scoring eight victory points. If I manage to do it with my battle leader, I get 12. I think we're deployed. Yeah, that's we're ready it. to go. This only means one thing. Who goes first? Ooh, five. Five and five. Oh. All right, well, I guess we're re-rolling. Five and four. All yep. right, I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna go first. You're going first. Good luck, Stephanie. You too, Mubin. May the best player win. I mean, we're here to burn Ferris, <laughs> so we're good. <laughs> this episode's sponsor is Baron of Dice. Baron of Dice makes fantastic resin dice for all your favorite games, not just 40K. Their hand squirreled and laser etched resin have zero mold lines or balance issues without micro bubbles. We love them so much that our play on dice are from Baron of Dice, including these exclusive Victor dice. For all your custom dice needs, your go to should be Baron of Dice. Check out the link below, and as always, tell them Play On sent you. Stephanie's got first turn. Here we go. Both players tick up to one command point. Okay, I'm going to use my Tireless Hunter enhancement and target your Terminators so that I get plus one to my wound rolls against oh. them. Yeah. Smart, smart, because that offsets their minus one to wound. Declaring Oath of Moment this turn on that squad of Zangors. Onto the movement phase, both nearby objectives have been secured by Stephanie's battle line troops, so she's going to hold them until movement ends a command phase within range, and she isn't on them. Ooh, she's definitely got a stretch across the table here. There's a lot of ground to cover. So I will go ahead and shoot my one guy. <laughs> into those Zangors, yes, but nice Zangors. and pretty ones. Yeah, let's no. do it. <laughs> Look for two attacks. I have a six up invul. Okay. Yeah, oh, good. come on, man. <laughs> okay, good, that's, good. that's okay. Um, it was worth a shot. You really tried there. 
They did try. They did. Now let me see what my line of visibility is with the other guys. Mm -hmm. Oh my no, so we're saying that even Yeah, because it crossed the wall. Okay. So we're gonna So it's just the just the two. Just the two. Six up involves! I make both! Are you serious? <laughs> this is why they don't let dice. me use these dice! Wow, shooting face here. Movement's made more six up saves than he really deserves to. That's a pretty quick turn one, no score yet, as we head to Moobin's half of the first turn. Both players up to two command points, and Moobin only generates four Cabal points this turn. The Thousand Suns army rule is Cabal of Sorcerers, which means at the end of every command phase, I get to generate Cabal points, which I can then use for Weaver of Fate or Echoes from the War. Ooh. Uh-oh, I don't like that sound. Ooh. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> All right, first things first, we're gonna start with these Zangors. Looks like he's gonna move up to target those intercessors with his Infernal Master. On to shooting. Zangors completely out of range. Those Zangors are completely out of range. I've only got the Infernal Master to shoot. I am going to use the Infernal Master's Screamer Invocation, and I'm actually going to use it at the Focused Witchfire profile, which means it's hazardous, it's Torrent, but it's 2d6 attacks. So, torrent means it automatically hits. Correct. Um, hazardous means if you roll a one, it- I have to roll a dice, and if I roll a one, I take three mortal wounds. Okay. So I'm gonna roll 2d6 for attacks. Are Nine. you kidding me? Okay. Zinch! <laughs> Ouch, this is gonna hurt. I am saving on five. Yes. Oh no. Oh no, it's right. <laughs> and three of them die. Oh man. No. No. My heart. Okay, that's okay. That's okay. I'm I'm happy with that. You did good. Ugh. Except now, the moment of truth. Hazardous. Please. Oh, Aww. he's okay. That now allows me to roll D3 for victory points at the end of the shooting phase. Okay. Because I killed at least one enemy model with a psychic attack. And I will score. One victory point! Okay. Yay! <laughs> well, that's pretty impressive. Moobin scores a point for Sorceress Ritual to give him one secondary point for a total score of one nothing after round one. I'm thinking round two, we're gonna see some bloodshed. The Battleshock tests on the Intercessors succeed, and 10 victory points for Stephanie and two stickied objectives. She's gonna hold those until Moobin drops within range at the end of a command phase. Whole squad of intercessors now advance to be within 12. The wounded squad closes up as well. That's going to get them entirely on top of that aquila or crater, and that's going to give them a bonus to the cover save against higher AP weapons. And then at the end of movement, that's when my reavers can. Yes, but I'm also going to spend a command point oh, and fire Overwatch. Here we go. Because that okay, sorcerer's got some work to do. <laughs> We're going focus switch fire into the unit with the leader. Oh. 2d6. Oh. Only three. Okay. <laughs> Second command point. Oh. I'm going to reroll number of shots. For a nine. Ah. On threes. Four five up saves required here, and another intercession goes down. And now for what really matters, hazardous. <gasps> yes, 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 yes. Oh no. He takes three mortal wounds. He's only got one left. I am now that much closer due to his own attack. <laughs> oh you know what God. though? That was worth the sh that was worth the risk. <laughs> so I'm actually gonna sit on my reavers and see what plays out after this battle round. Fantastic, because end of the phase, I killed another model with psychic attack, because I can do it on any phase, right? D3 victory point for me? For two? Okay, okay moving. I see you. So are we on to shooting? We are on to the shooting phase Let's now. Let's do it. This is where it gets fun. Start of the phase. Movement spends two Cabal points here to get a reroll save for his sorcerer because he's going to need it. All right. So I am going to go ahead and shoot. Who's shoot. starting the party? Um, let's go ahead with let's Those go three? with the Sparse Squad because okay. I want to see what's going to happen over there. Um, so let's just go with my regular Intercessor first. Yep. Threes. Four up. He's OK. Oh. We have these three in the front that are within range, and I am going to shoot you with them. You've got oaths, three. so you can reroll three. I'm gonna go ahead and. Oh, all of them. Ooh. Sweet. 
They're looking for fours. Oath of Moment for the win. Oath of Moment's really good. Wow, re-rolling with Oath of Moment's really strong. She definitely needs it. Her rolls are not helping her out right now. You do have command points. I'm gonna do it. Command point to re-roll again here fails, and Movement saves both. He's okay. What is this? <laughs> Dice Juju. What is this? Dice Juju. <laughs> See, he just blessed me. <laughs> Oh, okay, that is okay. I am not gonna smack you with my Invictor. Going for my six up invul. Nope, one of them will bite the dust. Looking for sixes. No sixes. Two more go down. Threes. And I make both. What is this? <laughs> I am so terrified of this thing. Good he job. is terrifying, yeah. except when I decide to just blow my own brains out. Yeah. Small caveat. And it's Stephanie's turn two. She's got two command points to move as one. Movement does have three secondary points. Halfway through turn two, it's 10-3 in Stephanie's favor. The Zangors gain movement at Cabal Point, and he gets two from his master, so he's got a total of four Cabal Points this turn. So the Infernal Master does have to take a Battle Shock test, and he's got a Leadership Six. No. <laughs> Battleshock test and the sorcerer fails. It's an interesting choice here. He's choosing not to use insane bravery on him, and that's gonna mean he can't target him with stratagems later. He also scores 10 primary points to make it 13 to 10 as we head into Moobin's movement phase. The Moobin movement phase? Moobin Moobin, I like the Moobin Moobin. I like the movement Moobin. Uh, Zangor's run up to get some protection here. I think that Stephanie has missed her opportunity to pop that sorcerer without bringing in her reavers last turn. Okay, we are going to be using Rapid Ingress, a core stratagem to bring my reavers into the battle. This got way more serious, way quicker than I thought it was going yep. to. I need reinforcements. That is a solid tactical play. I did not see that coming. Oh, the Rapid Ingress. Thankfully, I managed to zone them out and push them into a corner that I wanted them to be in, but this now puts my home objective at risk. All right, on to the shooting. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna start with this squad of Zangors. They're all gonna fire their auto pistols into that unit. Okay. Fours. Uh, got you. Look at all those sixes again. Right, Jeez. those sixes. I love these dice. <laughs> um, however, only winning on fives. Mm -hmm. What is I this? will take the three this sixes. This is crazy. <laughs> no AP though, so you will get your three up saves. Okay. Okay, phew. All right, because I'm Battleshock and I don't want to take my chances because I can't reroll my dice, I'm not gonna go for the Focus Witch Fire this time. I'm just gonna go with the standard, so it's only 2d3 attacks, but I will still continue to target your leader squad. No. Four shots, because it's 2d3. Mm -hmm. I can live with that. They auto hit, so going to three two wounds. Okay. Uh, only wound twice, okay. AP two, one damage. So, so looking for fours four again. Plus, yeah. yeah. Oh, threes, two threes, that's Ooh. not what I want. So that'll kill, kill the wounded yes. intercessor. D3 victory points. Oh, that's right. For three, the Scarab Occult Terminators are gonna fire everything into the squad of intercessors. We're gonna start with the Hellfire Missile Rack, looking for two shots on threes. I make one okay. kill one, twos. No. Ooh. Three damage will kill one of them. I mean, you with are it. within half range, which means I will get four shots with three of them. Looking for threes and then fours. One to twos. Uh, looking for fours though. Oh no, you still failed two. <laughs> this is killing me. Those bolsters are doing some serious work. Down goes another intercessor. <laughs> Next up, because they still have more shooting to go, the Soul Reaper Cannon. Cover. Okay. Ooh, only two intercessors left that squad. Woof. All right. I'm terrified. That's the end of my shooting phase. <laughs> charge right now. Yeah, this, this could go bad. <laughs> I'm going to start with the shiny, pretty looking Zangors. Mm -hmm. They're going to charge your leader. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. My leader. You got this. Okay, six inch charge. So that's still a nine inch charge. Zinch, this is where I need no you to be sixes. here. Come on. Come on, Zinch. No. Oh, that's an eight. After we saw that too. We should have just known. I, I, I know, I know. <laughs> Moving not sending the Terminators in, that's really interesting. 
yeah, the unit of Zangors that were on my home objective are gonna try and go for the nine inch charge back into the Reavers to okay. try and keep them away. I'm command re-rolling. <laughs> Going down to one, I'm command re-rolling. This I never would too. works. I would too. This never works, but it keeps you off of that objective and I need to make this happen. And he fails his charge again. That is huge. I've only got the one unit that charged in, so they are going to pile in. Okay. Um, Please survive. Looking for fours. Look at all those sixes. What the sixes? I'm telling you. Um, however, I still need fours to wound. Would you kindly just fail the ball? The Zangors managed to wound on the battle leader, Thork, for one, but Moobin loses two Zangors. And around two, we get a score of 60 to 10 Moobin's favor, but Stephanie has got better board position for sure. Start of the battle round before we do anything else. We have to see which one of these objectives is going to disappear. So it's Let's one, see. two, three, three four, four, five, five six. six. Sure. Time to choose an objective to disappear next turn, and it looks like the top objective is the one. Both moment target. Every single turn I pick him and I never get there, but I think this might be the turn I actually do. Oath the moment targeting the Infernal Master again. I think it should be those Terminators as they're damn hard to shift and really need to die now, but let's see how this plays out. So Battleshock text test for those Intercessors in the Crater. I'm looking for at least six. Oh, they're good. All right. Go with the seven. Five victory points to Stephanie to put it to 16 to 15 in Moobin's favor. All right, all right. All so right. now we move to movement. I am falling back an inch. I do plan on charging right back in later, yep. so I don't want to go too far. That's a good call right there. <laughs> Ooh, the Invictor is lining up some Terminator shots. This is where it gets really Boy. interesting. There's it a is, lot going on there's now. There's a lot going on right now. <laughs> uh, um, go for glory. So, yeah, so let's see here. Also start of your shooting phase. I'm going to spend two Cabal points off of the Infernal Master to give me at least a single reroll for a save roll. Okay. I think you might need it. Try to keep them alive. <laughs> Try. <laughs> All right, so these four in the front here are within shooting range of him. We're gonna yep. go ahead and do that. This guy in the back is going to shoot here. Not the Zangors. Yes, the Zangors. First there, four first. into the Infernal Master. Yep. yep. Oh boy. I make okay. one fail one. I'm going to use a Glimpse of Eternity here. Okay and make that three an unmodified six. So okay. he's safe for this, from the shots there. I still have the rerolled save. Okay. And then I guess we'll just resolve this last attack over here. Yep, into the Zangors. No. And that was, no bueno. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and shoot there. Three up. Okay, so one. Reroll, because you have both. That's right. Okay, good. So both hit, Two. looking for fours. Both, a five and a six. And looking for four ups again, because they're AP one. Oh. Okay. Wow, Battle Shock matters. Without being able to spend stratagems on that character, that Infernal Master is gone. Eight victory points and a dead Infernal Master. Good grief. And all because I used Hazardous. Yep. <laughs> I'm gonna shoot here. Two, four. Four. Not a six. Okay. Bye. <laughs> okay, One now the fun work. shots happen. We are gonna do grenades that way. We're gonna send everything else this way. I really want these guys to meet their fate today. So. No, no. Terminators, <laughs> you will survive. I believe in you. So we're gonna do the Twin Hill autocannon first. That's three shots. Threes and twos? All of them. So normally you'd be wounding them on threes, but Scarab Occult Terminators have a rule that give them minus one to wound. She also marked them, so they're plus one to wound, so back to threes again. I like it. Okay, two. Two wounds. So we roll the two, because it's twin linked. There we go. That's three. Because they're Terminators, I'm looking for three ups. Okay. <laughs> I love that face. <laughs> oh, Spending a command point. I almost point. feel bad. And re-rolling the fail. He's okay. Okay. So none of them go through. All right. We're coming in with the twin iron hail. Why are these names so long? Because I, space marines. The twin iron hail heavy stubber, and I am within rapid fire range, I believe. Let yeah, me you're double within check. 18 for sure. Oh yeah. 
Oh yeah, easily. Oh yeah, so you're definitely in range. That's six shots then. Woo. Yep. And threes. Two ups. I still get a one. Okay. One wounded Terminator, but maybe too little too late as Mubin is rapidly losing assets. D6 shots, five. Ooh, Not bad, okay. I'll take it. I made two of them. What is this? <laughs> that, that is was, a heck of a lot of that's shooting. That's all shooting, right? Done, 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 done. Yeah. Okay. Let's do Who's charging? Let's charge. <sighs> okay. Well, I think this is pretty straightforward for once. The battle leader charges back into combat. Only three inches, but it's enough. The two man intercessors charge that same unit. The Reavers into the last Zangar squad, and they're in. Let's, I'm going to start with Fork. <laughs> fork. 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 Sixies! Nope, that's a one. And that's a... Nope. Okay. So two of them die. So we'll do him first. All right. All right, here we go. Can he do it? Can he kill the mutant? Looking for fours. Ooh. No! Uh, no. Swing and a miss. You know what? It's the regular intercessor that's going to take the glory from right, him again. it's this one. It's this just a one guy. He should have been the sergeant. The battle, right here. So you got one. One is all you need. No! Uh, he leaves! <laughs> that one poor little big one. 1920. Woo! Throwing lots of dice. <laughs> yes, oh. they feel so good oh. in my hands. Okay, and we want threes. He's looking for threes. Okay. There's that a bunch of ones and twos in there. I like that. I like that. Give me some fours. I make none. Okay. Yay, four of them die. All right, that's good news. Lubin's got to take a battle shock test here, but apparently Zangors are tough, or Stephanie's dice are a bit cold. Now the Zangars slap back, but only manage a single wound. The mutant's gonna go for glory, and he's gonna try and kill your leader. <laughs> Three attacks. Okay. On fours, and then fours again. Come on, fours. Yeah, it's just typical. Two. Yeah, it takes another damage. <laughs> Reroll succeeds. Two command points for Stephanie left. What a massive turn three for Stephanie with a dead Infernal Master. That puts her to 23 points to Mubin 16 as we head into Mubin's turn. All Battleshock tests are passed, and Mubin's home objective has been stolen from the Reavers, so only 10 points for Mubin this turn. 26 23 his favor. <laughs> the Lone Zangor falls back. Scarabs are coming for that mid table, try to avoid the Invictor. The Zangors also fall back to reassert dominance on that objective. Okay, movement phase is done. On to the Schusting. The only unit that I have that is going to do any sort of shooting is that squad of Terminators. Missile Rack, Soul Reaper, and a Bolter into Leader. The rest of the Bolters and Warp Smite into the Intercessors. Let's start with the Leader first. So, two shots from the Hellfire Missile Rack, looking for threes and then twos. Okay. Can't Both miss. It. Okay. Command reroll to hit with a Hellfire missile into the battle leader. I'm down to one. Still misses. Oh no. Movement's out of one command point. Onto the Soul Reaper cannon. Uh, looking for threes with six shots. And then winning on threes because strength six. Ooh. Oh my god. Dice. What are you doing? Yes. We're Cinch now. Oh, the Soul Reaper cannon has missed. Uh, and I said one of the bolters is going this way, but it's not going to be in rapid fire range. So only two shots. One bolter hit. Okay. The bolter misses. Okay, so the leader's I going to survive. I was going to join the dead leaders club with you, I, but it's not. I like really that thought one. that was going to be the case too, but <laughs> apparently not. <laughs> yeah, that hurts. That hurts. Sorry, moving. No, nope, no. Nope. <laughs> this is what the dice do to me every time. <laughs> The four bolter shots into the intercessors. Okay, bolters are doing stuff at least. Okay. Uh, winning on fours though. One wound, AP one, because you're in cover. Nope, still take the one. The wounded intercessor goes bye bye. Just look at this it's fall. It's the wounded one, not him. And then the warp smite, because that's why wanna... I save for last. Uh, leave for threes. Uh, that, okay, that's where I get all the rolls. There all of them go. hit. But these are anti infantry four with devastating. Ooh. Oh my god, every single one. That's three mortal wounds. He's just gone. He's not just dead, he's just... <laughs> Vaporized. <laughs> yep. I got D3 victory points. This is why I picked this. <laughs> for two. So battle shock for them at the beginning of the fight phase. They're okay with a nine. 
Heroic intervention for two command points from the Reavers. Coming for the Zangors. Stephanie is down to one command point. Yeah, it'll be fine. Five? Two, uh, yeah, five is more than enough. Let's go that way. All right, I'm going to go ahead and toss these Sorry, 20. Yes. They feel so good. So you are looking for threes. Oh. Ooh, lots of ones and twos. I one. like this. I like this. <laughs> I'm okay with this. Oh, okay. I got two sixes. Yeah. But it's still not enough. Yeah. That takes out the squad. Woo! What a game we've got. End of turn three, 28-23 in favor of movement, and both players have a single command point. What has Stephanie got left in the gas tank? Start of the battle round. This Ooh, objective disappears. That's right. So that's gone. And then I get to randomly determine which one of these two right. is the last so one remaining. Is it one, two, three, four, five, six? Yep. All right. Four, five, six, it's the one in the middle. 15 primary victory points as those intercessors held the center objective in Mubin's command phase. That's big. Oh, the Invictor. Here comes the High Steppa. The Invictor's gonna do some work. I can still do this, and I'm gonna do this because it's about the best shot I've got right now. Your Invictor's moved. I'm gonna fire Overwatch with those Terminators. Ugh. I, right. might as well it. It on, I might as well I'm do it. I might as well do it. Moving over, watching for a command point, trying to knock wounds off the Invictor with no effect. Do you want to start with that one first? Get rid of the poor little mutant. Let's let him suffer over there for a little bit. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> All right, so we're going in with everything, everything right here. Threes. Make one, fail one. So the wounded one goes splorch. Yay, finally. I hate these, I've decided. And Victor's now gonna go womp, womp, womp. Heavy Bolter, Iron Hail, fails to hurt. A Terminator down to a wound. Wow, that was not enough. These are really, uh... Gonna put him out of his misery now? Or do you yeah, wanna charge him? let's do that. <laughs> you know what, let's, let's... Take him out in glorious combat? Yeah, let's yeah. do it. Yeah. Let's do the Space Wolves way. Yeah. Look at that guy. Shooting him is for cowards. Yeah. All right, we're gonna charge in with our Invictor. Why not? We're here at the end. Might let's as go well ahead and do go it. for broke. Oh yeah, you're in. Look at that. The eight is good. Thoric charges the lone Zangor. I think he's gonna make some goat stew with him. First. I can't interrupt, so you can basically choose whatever you want to fight with. This is the yes. Invictor into the uh, Terminators. The Invictor puts three wounds on the Terminators. Stephanie's down to one command point though. Because they haven't been chosen to fight yet, I am actually going to go ahead and spend my last command point. Okay. Last command point for moving on Rethin Warp Flame. The lethal hit, five up. So fives to hit will automatically wound. So that's five so far yeah. for the lethal hits. And then I'm looking for fives to wound. Another three. Jeez. So that's a total of eight at AP two, two damage Ooh, each. Oh, this is yes. not <laughs> what I wanted. Okay. Yes. Okay. So how so many? So you're looking for eight. eight. Six go through. Jesus. That's 12 damage. No. Yes. <laughs> Holy crap. The Invictor has gone down to the wound. I did not see that coming, and I don't think the players did either. Movement took my Invictor from being untouched to dead. No, I should have done that. Uh, I should have actually taken should've the shot with the, the staff. I just realized I missed out on D3 victory points. Uh, I should have used my fourth staff. So okay. I'm totally A-OK -okay with that. Do you want to murder this poor little yeah, Zangor so let's now? let's just get that over with. Yeah, five attack. Goodness gracious me, oh my, what a turn of events. I score my five for primary because I'm holding that objective. Mm -hmm. I still have You still have that. that. That disappears before you score. And have this. And then you have that one. I'm pretty sure the way this maths out, we tie. At the start of Stephanie's turn, she's going to score 10 points on primary. That's going to take her to 48. And Mubin is going to score five primary for 38. And he will score 10 for holding the last No Man's Land objective to make his score 48 plus paint 58 to 58. Wow! Move in. <laughs> there are no winners Move on Venerous! <laughs> Who's gonna get the dice? We split a pack? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was a hell of a game. Move in. <laughs> I, what a fantastic game. Both players played their absolute butts off and it was a lot of fun to watch. Special thanks again to Stephanie from Ryan's Belt Minis coming up, bringing her Votan and her Space Wolves for this battle. 
Fantastic having her in studio and can't wait to have her back. And a big, big thanks to you for watching. If you like what we do, please consider supporting us through YouTube membership or Patreon. You'll get exclusive releases as well as behind-the-scenes interviews, early access to most of our shows, and access to our Discord, the most happening 40k community around. Thank you again to Bear to Dice for not only these fantastic dice, but for our Play on Dice. Make sure to check out the link in the description below and tell them Play on sent you. That's it for all of us here at Play on Studios, folks. Once again, it's JT McDowell saying, until the next time you see us in the far-flung future of a grim dark universe, Play on. Thank you, Stephanie. That was an amazing game. Let's just say I am so happy. I can barely even sit here. This is the most exciting outcome that ever could have happened. Combat Patrol is fantastic. I actually can't wait to play more. The real question is, what army do I play next? I get to add to my other victor's dice from my last Combat Patrol game. So I think this is the best possible outcome. We're not giving him any. You have to win. Oh, what? Oh, yeah. I'm you have to win. win. You have to win. You can so then the nobody up. gets them? No! no. Unfortunately, neither of us got those Victor dice. Your overall experience? Your overall experience? Play on the patrol? Be here? What do you think? Yeah. Wait. <laughs> you guys. I know. I mean, <laughs>